Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Saturday, December 16th, 2023, and we are back with our college basketball best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post college basketball videos every single day, along with the NFL, NBA, NHL, and college football. We have videos out on those, all those other sports today. They should be live when you're watching this. Definitely go check those out. We're done with this one. We're also going to have a big winning year in the MLB as well. Go after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first nine months on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap, yesterday's results, we went 2-0. and We went 2-0 and yesterday in college basketball. We had our members only best bet was UConn. Minus three and a half, that was a winner. And with the under one to 50 and a half at UConn and Gonzaga, that was also a winner. I did not look good in the first half. That that looked like an over game for sure. And then the second half, the defense is buckled down specifically on UConn. Danny Hurley is a hell of a coach, and UConn is talented as hell. Um, but overall for the year, 69 to 55. Other than a bad first week, I feel pretty good about where we are. And we have six picks today in a loaded, I mean loaded college basketball slate. I might add one more free pick on my Twitter later. You can do it check out my Twitter. My Twitter's link in the description below. Um, but let's get, into, let's get into our first free play. We have three free plays today, three members only. Let's get into our first free play today. We're going to start with the biggest matchup of the entire day, which would be Arizona versus Purdue. I don't care about the ranking here when it comes to Arizona and Purdue. One versus three. It doesn't really matter. For me, though, I'm rolling with Arizona. And Arizona on the money line, minus 111. I Listen. Arizona has a better top-to-bottom team than, um, than Purdue does. Zach Eady is the best player, but then after that, I really believe that Arizona has the, has the three best players after that. Bio is going to be able to match up well with Eady. This is a big deal. He is a matchup problem all over the place. Last year, he was a huge night, ma matchup nightmare, and now you can put him against Eady. I love that. That's a great. That's about as good of a matchup you could possibly have against Zach Eady. You could almost put him one on one. I wouldn't recommend it because he still is like two, three inches bigger than him. But even so, this is a major, major advantage for Arizona. They have an actual guy who can actually guard Eady. You don't have to double him every single time down the floor, which is what every other team has to do. And you don't have to do that with your Arizona. On top of that, you have Caleb Love, who's absolutely electric. I loved him at UNC. And the fact that he moved to Arizona, first off, is a perfect style fit. And other than Zach Eady, could be the best player in the country right this second. The dude's unreal. Coach of Arizona is great. Um, Purdue is not remotely invincible. It's shown by Northwestern, um, Bama. And don't tr and I don't trust the guards for Purdue other than Fletcher Lawyer. I know Braden Smith had a good game against Bama, but really, I don't trust them. I've seen Braden Smith do more stupid shit in the last year and a half than I've seen any other team do. When you look at when you look at this team, you have a very very good center. I mean, a fantastic center who who's great in college will do nothing in the NBA. But and, and really average guards, average wings. And if you look at it on Arizona, they have great guards. They've got great shooting. They've got great maturity. Bio should be able to match up okay with Edie. I love Arizona the money line here. I hate that this game's on Peacock. It's ridiculous that it's on Peacock, but I might just buy it for today. Arizona money line minus 111 versus Purdue. Next, we're going to take another money line, which is going to be another huge matchup of the day. UNC money line minus 111 versus Kentucky. I love this UNC team right now. I absolutely love them. Lead, the First off, the, their best players are their leaders, which is a huge, huge, huge benefit. RJ Davis is great off ball. Armando Baycott is a beast down low and their best player. They're shooting everywhere for UNC, and that wasn't the case last year. They were not as good of a shooting team as they are this year as they are. They, they were not as good of a shooting team last year as they are this year. They've really improved that part of the game. And they also play, like UNC, the biggest difference between this team, this year's team and last year's team, like truly, even though they lost Caleb Love, they play eight deep. They play eight people deep. Last year, they could barely play six. And I mean, barely play six. And they could honestly even go nine or 10 deep if they really wanted to. And that's huge against a good Kentucky team. They're gonna have to throw different guys at those Kentucky guards. That's gonna be big. These are also games that Coach Cal loses. These are games where you're like, oh yeah, you, Kentucky's gonna make a statement. This is the squad. And then you and then Hubert Davis from my alma mater, my my high school alma mater, is going to go in there. He's going to put together a fantastic game plan. RJ Davis is going to ball out. Baycott's going to dominate, and the shooters are going to shoot. I love this UNC team here today uh, versus Kentucky on the money line minus 111. 
And then lastly, on the free side of things, we have Michigan State plus three and a half versus Baylor. The sharp money here is all over Michigan State at home. I love them at home here getting points at plus three and a half. They've got good guards with Tyson Walker and, Ho and, and, and Hogard. They've got to get some offensive production out of Hogard too because Tyson Walker is by far their best production guy on the offense side of things. They have a good interior presence with Sissoko, which is going to be big defensively. This feels like a trap game for Baylor. Michigan State's going to be up for this game. The atmosphere is going to be unbelievable. What this reminds me of is, is the Wisconsin game versus Marquette, where Marquette came in as a very highly ranked team, and they lost outright to an inferior team in Wisconsin. But because of the atmosphere, because of the, the experience, because of the coaching, Michigan State, you know, Wisconsin was able to get a win. I feel the same thing here with Michigan State versus Baylor, although Baylor is a, a little bit more athletic team than Marquette. I love Michigan State here, plus three and a half uh, versus Baylor, because I just really think this is a game Michigan State gets way, way, way up for them. Now, like I said, we have two members only plays across all, we have eight members only plays across all of our sports leagues at ddmbets.com slash picks, put them in the comments below. Uh, but a quick recap what we have. Uh, we have Arizona money line minus 111 versus Purdue. We have UNC money line minus 111 versus Kentucky. And we have Michigan State plus three and a half versus Baylor. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check those our videos.